Okay there, gamsters and ch ch Welcome, blah, 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 blah. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to you there, madam or sir. Master or Missy, whatever the case shall be. Games and more channel here. Okay, give me uh, one second. We're going to work on this Mustang Resto mod here. But I want to see... Let me just turn that music down just a tad. There we go. We're putting Christmas music on today. It's almost Christmas, so we're going to be doing a lot of Christmas music on the iPod. So we're going to do this 1965 Ford Mustang Resto Mod. The... Uh, other Mustang I did uh, back on the 5th was not a um, modded car. This one is. The other one was just a stock Mustang. I've also pulled this out of the garage. 1969 Trans Am. I think I got it in the thing wrong, but it, it'll work. And 1965 GTO Gasser, and it's up there in the pole. So, that's what we'll do Wednesday. You know, whichever one comes in first. Well, let's start pulling some parts. Yeah, as usual, the... Uh, The engine is not in too good of a condition, as usual. Okay, where is the brake servo? Well, yeah, it seems like 4 o'clock works for for these streams, I guess. I tried 2 o'clock, nobody showed up. 3 o'clock, nobody shows up. 4 o'clock, the other day, a bunch of people showed up. So... Four o'clock may be the magic key here, I'm thinking. But I do my streams on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. Seems like every day uh, people don't like that well. Okay, we got to get that underneath. Let's get the fender. We got the hood, right? Yep. Front end. We got the front end. Okay, I don't have no cooling on here. All right, that works too. So now we got some big old rusty thing. I already got the tires and the uh, shocks already done. Did that be while I was waiting for the stream to uh, come into um, there. Well, okay, you're going to slow down now, game? There we go. Let's, let's take our brake calipers off. And I do watch the messages on my laptop here. Where's that bearing at? There we go. Just pulled a couple cars from the garage and uh, see what we were going to build. And what comes in first place we'll do on Wednesday. What comes in second place we'll do on Friday. Seems like that works out. All right, we get that. Bottom suspension arm. Alright, we're not going to 
shouldn't be able to get this or this until we pull the other side off. And we got to get our four little bushings out of the uh, cross member. One. While we're at it, pull the muffler system. So another bushing right there. As usual, no starter in the transmission. As usual, I wouldn't expect nothing less. All right, let's go to back to the wheel. And then pull the uh, thing off the tire. get that front uh, bushing off I can already see it from here I think I didn't no I did okay okay get our wheel hub tap that stupid bearing yeah sometimes you got to go behind it and get it it's a lot easier all right whoever was watching left <laughs> <laughs> All right, our upper suspension arm, three bolts. One, two, three. Double wishbone shock absorber, gone. Sway bar B, link B, gone. Bottom suspension. Gone. Audi tie rod. One bolt. Holds that in. Inner tie rod. Nothing holds that in. Your steering rack. Nothing holds that in. Your front sway bar. And then you get this knuckle. There you go. Now we're going to disconnect the back end from the front end. We're going to... Pull the dry shaft. Four bolts each end, usually. Unless it's a double, um, unless it's a double, um, dry shaft. Then you got a converter in the middle of it. And let's pull that muffler, pull that muffler. And let's pull the gearbox or transmission, whichever one you want to call it. Your thing. You know what I forgot to take out? The cross member. There we go. I do forget things from time to time. Alright, clutch plate. Even though this thing might be an automatic. But it's got the clutch, the pressure plate, the throw out bearing, all that good stuff. But you can't, you can't shift the car. I have not found out how to do it. It does it automatically. Disc on the back on a 65. Okay. I thought these would be brake shoes back here myself. Oh, guess what else I forgot? The fuel tank. There it is. On a 65 disc on the back? Oh, unless this car was restored at one time. Alright, this ain't too, too hard of a back end. Shock absorber cap. Rear spring spring cap. You don't have to put this into the uh, spring compressor machine. This goes right back on when we're ready to do that. Alright, now we go get our UE bolts. Pull this. Alright, now this little thing. Don't forget your leaf spring plate. Solid axle control arm. And we're ready for this side. There's that. Uh, 
just can't believe this thing is this. Brakes on the back. Okay, you're not going to see. Now, this solid control arm right here. You're going to have a bushing in the back of it. Right there. Shock absorber B. One bolt. Same thing with the other side. Absorber cap. Spring. Spring cap. Alright. Same thing as the other side. U-bolt. There we go. Lay spring plan. Solid control arm. Now this whole rear drive axle will go away. And I think we got everything. Now let's bring the car down. Where's my coffee cup at? There we go. Alright. Just double checking for body parts. I think I got everything. I'm pretty sure. I'm sure, I'm sure. Yeah, look at the old GTO. It's barely in parts here. It's barely visible. Alright, let's take our detail thing. Put it over by car lifter A. Let's go trade batteries. Take the battery that's been charging since over the weekend. And let's put this battery in it. Now comes our welder. This is how we get the rust of, off the vehicle. And our engine crane. Go to A. Ah. First things first. Let's knock all that rust off. That usually tells me if I left any rusty. Oopsie. We left a couple parts on. That's not good. Do you see any rusty? That's the engine. Alright. That's a party blow. All right, now we take our detailer and clean up the inside. Don't know what's been done when it was at the junkyard. Let's move that back. Let's move that back. And what's it worth to you? Oh, this thing is old. Look at those back windows. They got the old window cranks on it. As it sits with just the junk motor in it, drum roll please, $8,241. I'll take 10 of them. Engine crane, pull that out. With no engine, I just want to double check something. I just want to double check to see if we ain't got no stray parts. I don't see any. So that's only worth eight thousand dollars. Now you go over here to this engine stand. Okay, add engine into the crate. V8 DOHC supercharged. Oh, oh, this is gonna be fun to build, people. Let me get this over on its side. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Get it over on its side. Roll over. Uh, it don't look like we got any rod caps or bearing stuff in it. There we go, one. Two there. 
I'm going to take this head off to get that front timing plate off. There's the other one. Timing cover. Uh, it looks like I forgot me a power steering pump. No problem. Got it. It's only two bolts. Okay, nobody watching. Time to turn off the ugly cam. There we go. Time to turn off the ugly cam. All right, these timing belts, they got to come off in a certain way. Yeah, let's take off these old cam gears. All right, good. I don't have those little rod, those piston rod things in them. All right. Oh, I know what's wrong. Supercharge intake. Now I should be able to take the head off. Now, you should be able to go with that. One, two, one, two. All right, that camshaft ain't gonna, or crankshaft ain't gonna come out until you take all the pistons, rod caps, bearing caps, and all that good stuff out. We have eight pistons or cylinders in here, so you don't think I'm saying a bad word. Crankshaft. Now the block will go away. All right. Let's go over here to our magic table. And start building everything. Whoopee. I dropped the controller. Shame on me. Hear how that sounds. All right, my my voice sounds okay to me. Music don't seem like it's too overbearing. myself. I don't like hearing myself talk. I just can't concentrate. Alright, now we'll go back over here where it says engine. Go into mount mode. Mount part, whatever. V8. How many do I got? Oh, I only got one good block and one bad block. Power steering pump. Two bolts. Oil filter. Do I have any V8? Ooh, I only have two of those. Running low on parts. Mm, got plenty of those crankshafts. Pistons, I should have plenty of those. I bought a bunch of those last week. Okay, there's one. It's not going to let you put the oil pan on until you get all the parts in there. Two. Bye. 
eh? I got somebody else watching. Welcome to my madness. Six. Seven. One more. Cylinder with rings. If I say it the other way, it sounds like it's a dirty word. All right, now our rod caps. We're going to put the rod caps and the bearings on at the same time. These blocks will have anywhere from two to eight of these crankshaft bearing caps. One, two, three. Right, it's got three of them on. Alright, let's see what we got. Let me see. Has anybody voted in that little poll here yet? Nope, nobody voted in the little poll I put up here. Let's see what car we're going to do on um, Wednesday. Right up there in the uh, right hand corner on the top there, there's a little bubble put our rod caps on there we go and how you know you you got all the parts so you a cartoon for the uh, oil pan will come up Good to see you're still, you're still mad. I'm still mad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we're doing, yeah, yeah, we, you know, it takes a while to grow a channel. I mean, it's just not at, at water. Nope. And yeah, we're doing okay. It's getting close to Christmas. That's why I got the Christmas music on in the background there. And we got, what, two people watching now. <laughs> well, I guess we can turn the ugly cam back on. Yeah, we can turn the ugly cam back on. Okay, here we go. Oh, we don't have any V8 oil pans in stock. Well, we'll fix that, won't we? Oil pan. All right. Um, here. O-I-L. No, I didn't say block. I, well, I said block earlier. I just put one in stock just to... No, I didn't say coil. All right, come on. Oil pan I4, I C, I6, I6, rot T. All right, SV6, B8, O, H, V, G, I... Here we go. Well, come on. I'll just put five of them in there. There we go. I like Red Dead now. I lo I'm still working on the story. Yeah, I know I'm kind of slow at it, but you know, I know a lot of people have finished the story. One second, let me block off my audio for a second. <laughs> Excuse me, I had to sneeze, so I had to push the mute button there. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Alternator. 
I get any sneezing fits. <laughs> yeah, stop that now. Yeah, story is good. Yeah. <laughs> that one Lenny mission. <laughs> yeah, I walked into a room in that bar where I can't mention that because this is an E-rated game, but you get you you get the picture. Those people that did that mission didn't even know that that was there. Leave it to me to find something like that. I'm just trying to find Lenny and opened up the wrong room. Hey, let's put on our cam gears. <laughs> yeah, I told people to close their eyes. <laughs> So there are little Easter eggs, I guess, in them. All right, we got that, that. Here we go, let's get this one on so we can get the, uh, oh, the turbo thing on here. Come on, come on. Get back to you in a minute. Supercharger intake manifold, I don't have one. All right. Oh, hello there, Bigger Gaming. Yeah, just give me a second. Uh, okay, Supercharger. Uh, S-U-P-E-R. Five of those. Five of those. Excuse me, again. Probably one of these. I'm just getting a couple. I'm not, I'm not doing like I used to do. Let's get a hundred of everything. Real, that really slows down the game. So I only get a couple of everything. I don't know if they need that or not, but... Very expensive. Very expensive. And uh, if you put that on the uh, YouTube here, it gets demonized. According to TubeBuddy, who I have look at after my videos to see if they will be monomized or not. For some reason, that name will demonize a video. I don't understand it. I mean, what is it? Arena? Or is it wars? That'll get your video demonized. That is very expensive. That's a very expensive DLC. You stop playing GTA? For real. Oh, I always find something. You know, I still play it a little bit. Yeah, you know, and I like spawning the cars. Uh, you know. I like some of the other stuff. I actually wish they would come out with another uh, story mode expansion. All right, we're putting our fuel rails here. And the clubs are nice, too. Okay, let's put our camshaft on. Camshaft. Yeah, I don't know why the cars are that expensive in that, in that game, though. I mean, that's just ridiculous. You know, five million or better for cars, and it's what, eight million? Eight million gets you about, a, you gotta pay around a hundred bucks. So, five million. Ooh, that's expensive. If you look at it in real cash.
A lot of. Oh, okay. They're 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 playing it. Well, yeah. I don't know if that's a public mode uh, DLC or not. I I just looked into a little bit of it. I'm not sure if that's a public mode DLC. Okay, that's all I need is two of these. Two of these. I think I got plenty to get through that. All right, let's put our timing cover. Did we get timing covers? Yes, we do. Yeah, I've got the DLC. I've got the, um, that DLC, uh, played a little bit of the other day. I just don't like to do public mode that well. I always get somebody being a joke. I kind of liked it when you were able to have your own lobby. You know, just change the time on your uh, on your console, and then Rockstar doesn't change that on us. Uh, oh yeah, well. Yeah, I know. I don't know if you think those are expensive. Look at the mask during Halloween. You know, those are kind of expensive too. 40, 50, 60,000 for a stupid mask. Do I got a throttle? I sure hope so. I hope it's only one that I need. All right, these little individual coils, they go on top of spark plugs. You don't need the wires. These do away with the wires. MTU settings. MTU settings. Okay, I'll have to look at what that is. Because yeah, I used to like doing the um, uh, car DLC. We went and, you know, did the cars and everything. And you could change the uh, time on your uh, your PS4, you know, a month and a day. And boom! Had your own, uh, kicked everybody out of the lobby. Every time I go into a lobby, there's always somebody blasting just, Justin Bieber music. I don't understand that. Okay, MTU. Change. Change it to 750. Okay, I'll look. I'll look at that. Do I got to do that while I'm in public mode, or I can do that while I'm not? Why I'm why I'm offline, ready to go online. To where it kicks everybody out. All right, there our coil covers, and we got a bunch of these little roller bees. Any okay? MTU settings. I'll have to look at that. So I used to, like I said, I used to like doing the uh, the cars. You know that was pretty cool when you were in your own lobby. You know, it's bad enough you got to worry about the uh, NPCs. All right, I think we got everything on here. All right, let's put our belt on. We don't need a fan on this one, I don't think. Put this belt on. Our belt tensioner. Did I, did I get that on both ends? Yeah, all right. All we got now is the flywheel and transmission parts. This is an automatic, and it's got a clutch and all that. You know, no uh, transmission fluid on the radiator. None of that stuff. No linkage.
don't know why they didn't put this game out on uh, PS4. They were supposed to in October. And I don't know why they didn't do it. I got it. I'm missing a part. I'll, I'll look here in a minute. Alright, what part am I missing? Let me see. Let me see. What am I missing? Got this. Got this. Got this. Clutch release bearing. Whoop, I took that off, I think. Well, now I put it back on. What am I missing? I got the throttle here. I don't see no... Oh, okay, I, I found it. Thank you there, uh, Bigger Gaming. All right. Yeah, one of these little... Uh, Idle rollers, yeah, it wouldn't have let me take it out of the garage. I would have been sitting there forever trying to figure out where this darn thing was. All right. Yeah, I already got it. It was, it was one of those little uh, roller bearings. I don't see anything else. I think that's all it is, is one of those roller bearings, that's what I've seen. Yeah. Got that. Yeah. Alright, now. How we get the engine from there to there. Well, first, take off engine from the crate. Go here to our engine crane. And install. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to keep it that color or paint it something else. I kind of like that teal blue a little bit, but it's all good. Alright, first thing we're going to do. Fill her up. Whoopee. Oopsie. And I always do this. I always do that. Now, I put it in the mount mode. And you get to have fun and put the radiator in. This takes a little electric fan on there. Is it? That's not right. Should have a manual fan on it. Okay. But if you say so. Oh, okay. They're worth more in real than the, the, the original, yes. Definitely. And I almost bought a 65 and a half. They only made so many of those. And i still kind of kicking myself for not buying it. Almost bought a 65 and a half. That would have been a collector's item today. You know, back in the mid-60s, they Ford used to make half years. Whoopsie. Hey, almost forgot the battery. Yeah, you can't touch one of these cars like this for under 10,000, really. Unless it's been chopped up pretty good. Then 10,000 is not guaranteed it's going to run. I don't know. That was years ago I almost bought that. Uh, I don't know if he still owns it or not. And 
years ago I was going to buy that. All right, let's put it in our front sway bar. Like I said, I kicked my, I could almost kick myself for not buying that. I mean, if I had every car I wanted, I would have to have acres and acres and acres of garages. Oh, but it was fully original? Okay. You know, they only went for like, uh, what about 7000 No, about four, 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 four to seven thousand dollars brand new. They weren't, they weren't that much. But in today's money, that would be a lot of money. The, oop, forgot the cross member. Did I forget? Yeah, I forgot another part. Bottom suspension arm. I bought a 67 Plymouth Valiant off of somebody for 300 bucks. He only paid $1,500 for it brand new. Brand new. Back in 67, I uh, had the three on the tree. I, I kind of like those old uh, th three speed on the column transmissions. All right, let's put our rubber bushings in before we forget them. Oh yeah, Shelby Cobra. Yeah, they're the uh, Mustang Shelby's. Oh, yes. They still make those? The newer ones will cost you a pretty penny, too. The newer ones will cost you around 200 grand. But they ain't your father's Mustang. Let's just say that. They will move. I seen one on Jay Leno's garage. A brand new uh, Shelby. Oh, that thing. That thing was sweet. Oh, you like the old one. $10,000 brand new for a Shelby? Huh. It's cheaper than a brand new Prius. <laughs> Put our upper suspension arm. We're going to have a couple rubber bushings in there. Oh, okay. Cool. Ten grand for a Shelby. That's not bad. Let's put in this one. We're getting there with this. And you gotta make sure you don't forget anything. Okay, this bolt up here. Right now, your outer tie rod. If I could find one, I'd like to have a 1949 Tucker Torpedo. They only made 50 of them. There's less than, than there's less than 20 of that still run, but there's still about 35 of them. They're mostly in museums. You ain't gonna touch one that doesn't run for under eight million dollars. That's the one that's got the uh, headlight in the mid middle hood. Which way you turn the wheel, the headlight goes. Whichever way you uh, turn. Alright, let me see what we got here. 
here. Here's our gimme. Gimme. Here we go. Gearbox. Bunch of bolts here. It this looks like I can get this uh, starter on from down here. It looks like I can. Yep, I can. I ain't gotta go upstairs. That's a good thing. Alright, let's put our front exhaust pipes on. I'm just double checking everything before I leave this area. Alright. I gotta put in the uh, rear end so I can put in the dry shaft. All right, again, four bolts to connect the back to the front. Dry shafts are not this easy to put in in real life. <laughs> don't know when this game will be free not sure I mean it's a lot cheaper now than when I bought it I bought this game it was like 60 bucks you can get them for like you can get it for like 20 bucks now did I put on a uh, old part let's see V8 OHV rear muffler let's see Oh, I didn't. OHV, rear muffler. All right, let me go get some more mufflers. It's nine o'clock your time. Ooh, yeah, you're a few hours from us. All right, I usually use the power boost. Oh, nine dollars. <laughs> okay. Nine dollar. Oh man, nine dollars. Boy, it went down even more. When I bought this game about a year ago, it was like sixty bucks, and it's twenty now. Oh, okay. No, you you're you're the same. You're the same exact time that I am. All right, exhaust. I am looking for. Right, where is this at? Rear muffler V8 OHV. Yeah, my wife got this for our anniversary last year. Our 24th anniversary last year. This one. All right, now let's go put that muffler on. Fuel tank. Don't forget the little fuel pump on top of the tank. You'll sit there and wonder why the car won't start. I'm guilty of that one. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. Wheel hub three. I just can't believe this thing has got disc brakes on the back. I'm still scratching my head at that one. I would have thought these would have been brake shoes. Alright, we'll finish that up in a minute. And I've already pre-built the tires for these. I gave it some Mustang rims. It didn't have Mustang rims coming off this thing. And I gave it some Mustang rims. I think I might have did it some justice. 
Yeah, I know. It's a game. You know, one minute the uh, price is going to be really high and the next minute it's going to be cheap. Yeah. Alright, now we're going to put our leaf spring plate on. Alright, now our UE bolts. I'm going to have two on these per side. Did I get my bushing? Yeah, I got my bushing. Okay, come on. Right now I can put my brakes on. Yes, yes, yes. Hold on, I'm making sure I ain't got no cartoon parts. Alright, let's go put a... See, it came with the with these. But I, giving it these. I think I did it some justice. I know I put I put white walls on it. <laughs> I pre-built those uh, before the stream. There. <laughs> I put white walls on it. Kept it in with the error. All right, our spring cap. Rear spring. Okay. Yes. I like the white. Well, it's not the big white wall like I put on the um, Ghostbusters one, but it's the smaller. White wall. Ooh, rear knuckle housing C. I need some rear knuckle housing C's. Ooh, running low on parts, and I know it's not going to be in here. Uh, suspension. Rear knuckles. Near suspend. Sway. Rear knuckle housing C. Here we go. There we go. Alright, let's go back to this. Nickel housing C. Axle control arm. We got plenty of those. Let's put our little bushing in it. spring plate we're just about done with it we put it in the paint shop well first we got to put the body parts on then we put it in the paint shop let me go and have fun with it Looks a lot better than those old rusty things that were on here. Uh, I got one more tire if I can just anchor around here. Yeah, 
Hang on, let's see what it looks like. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Eh, uh, well. <laughs> but let's move the car back over by the garage door so I can get the body parts and the inside on and all that. Um, move car. And I am going to put that in. All right, where's my... There it is. There we go. You gonna give me any trouble today? One Mustang seats. I do have an old Ford wheel in here somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. This Mustang Mach 1, but I remember these being on the Torinos and the Montegos also. Those wheels. Alright. Well, assemble mode, left front door. There we go. You got any dark ones? Yeah, of course you do. Mirror. Mirror D looks cool. Where'd my... Wait a minute. Where'd my mirror go? Where'd my mirror go? <laughs> Ain't that in? Oh, there it is. It's way out on the hood. That's why I can't find it. I'm used to looking at the door. Which one we want? That, that. I like the one that says Mustang. This. I don't see any difference between Fender and C. I think C. C looks cool. Hood. I think I have a couple of these. Put a little scoop on it. Any dark windows. Hmm. Front bumper. Hmm. Go with B. Thinking B should be it. Black. No. Mm. Go with the regular deal here. Oh, darking headlight. Yeah, come on. Where did I put this one at B, right? I think that's what I did on that one. Dark headlight. Mm. 
Nope. I think I put this one on this. And there it is. Yep. Dark window. Sometimes I overbuy parts. Don't realize I do that. Fender. Oh, come on. No, assemble. The darker the windows, the better. <laughs> oh yeah big old drag wing We get to see if she will start. Sounds like she started. Okay, let's take her to the paint shop. I don't know. I kind of like this color. Though. That color looks pretty cool. Uh, move car into paint shop. Let's see if we get any libraries. And again, in the uh, little poll up here, we're going to vote on Wednesday's car. Either the, the GOAT, the GTO, or the Trans Am. Um, whichever one comes in second place, we'll build that one Friday. First, let's see if we got any libraries. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. One at a time. Well, that looks weird. Stripes. Oh, yeah. Uh, looks like I forgot a part. Purple stripes, I don't know. Blue stripes with uh, that teal blue. Yellow. See, so it's got its showing its yellow stripes. White stripes. Another yellow. Black. More yellow. None. Uh, I like that color, but uh, red. Hey there, Ancient Ned. All right. Made us a red mustache. Now, let's go see what it's worth, just for giggles. 94579 dollars. I didn't pay nowhere near that for it. Alright, right. 
drive. And then take him over to the speed track. If I didn't forget any parts. Doesn't look like I forgot anything. Oh. Uh. Looks like we're going over there. Just taking a little bit of time. Hey there, Jarrett. Okay, we're getting over here. All right, the little green line went all the way over. All right. Now, I usually go out of sight of the car first. Let's turn the ugly cam off so y'all can see the, the timer thing here. I do it this way, then I do it in first person. That didn't sound expensive enough. Do I gotta ease out, ease into it? Yeah, I gotta ease into it. So I get it around 90 or so. Then you gas on it. Wants to pull to that one side. Still won't let me. Whoa! Ah, uh, let's restart that. <laughs> that wasn't good. Whoa, it burns out real easily. Maybe do it a little bit over 100. Maybe like 120 or so. It tried to drift, yes. All right, we got it faster than we did it before. Whoa! Yeah, I can't play my, I can't use my GTA trick. Oh, oh, it did it. This thing is squirrely, but it's pretty funny. <laughs> Let's try that again. So I, I know I can't slam into it. Kind of like the Batmobile when I put the Batmobile way down and it went into oblivion. Went like a thousand miles an hour or so. It throws up the game. Change the tires. Yeah. It's good. Just got to ease, ease on it a little bit. I can't gas on it. One thirty. Hey, I got one fifty five out of it. Now let's do it in third person. Okay. Let's 
See if I can get it up to more than 155. Just got to baby the fuel pedal. Get her faster than 155. 30. Well, this thing's still going. 167, and I still had pedal left yet. 167, and I still. Still had pedal left. All right, let's go back to the garage. There we go. All right, let's change. Put the ugly cam back on. That music may be a little too loud. I don't know if that music is loud or too soft or what. Because yeah, I'm not I'm not listening to the playback of it. I'm gonna listen to it every so often. Let's see. Takes about a minute or so to get back. Maybe two minutes. Once I start hearing the phones. Me, me. Then I know we're just about there. Thing off my controller when I dropped it earlier. There we go. Cool. It didn't take us that long to do this one today. This wasn't that long. It don't seem it was. Started at uh, four and it's five fourteen now. Pretty darn cool, you may not say so myself. Makes the live streams a lot better when there's people watching. Think we're getting somewhere. Let's see, we're getting anywhere. It ain't me. It's just that Christmas feeling. Once every Come on, game. Let's go. People at home want to get back to the garage. Sometimes this game's pretty quick. Sometimes not so quick. Usually going back to the garage, it's slower. Alright, 
we should be hearing that meet me I hear me a garage So one of these two cars is what we're going to do on Wednesday. One of these two, right here. All right, we're going to go sell it because running out of room in garages. So, And I need the RP. And I'm at, oh, uh, where am I at? 49. Will this get me over the mark? All right, you see. Right, the game's doing that little twilly twirl thing. Wait a second. You're not seeing it on yours, but I see it on mine. And um, what's it worth now? There we go. $94,579 plus $7,000, almost $7,100 for a restoration fee. Am I going to get enough? To get to the 50 mark. And. No. Womp, 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 womp. Oh, I did not make it. Only got a little bit more to go. And then I can unlock. This last thing. This right here, I can unlock once I get to 50. And I'm at 49. There we go. So, uh, Wednesday, we'll do one of these two. I'll look at the polls tomorrow and see who's winning. You know, I got it right up there in the uh, right-hand corner. You'll see a little bubble. It says, more from games and more. Yeah, that right there, so... Usually tomorrow I look a day ahead of time to try to pre-schedule it like 24 hours ahead of time. This way everybody gets notif notifications. All right. Well, I appreciate everybody watching. So with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I thank you for watching. You like her? Give her a likes up, please. See how high we can get them likes to go there. Adults and kitties, everybody would love it. Feel free to leave a mature comment. Want to see more of the, the, the videos like this? Register there on the ch channel. Don't be shy. Please subscribe. See you in the next live stream video or whatever here. See ya.